Wilson, man, I am this close, this close from starting the podcast, man. I got all these microphones up in here. Dude, I'm, I'm ready to, to share my my thoughts, my innermost thoughts with the internet. Yeah, I, I ain't going to do that just yet. They ain't ready for me. Hey, JD Aliens, what's going on? Y'all ain't ready for me to do a podcast, man. Got a lot of stuff brewing up in here. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ready to let y'all in. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure if y'all are ready to be let in here, man. It's, it's dark in there, bro. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyways, man, I just unboxed this new microphone. This is the AUHD 300T from Mayono. Mayono is a, is, I mean, Mayono is an absolute beast when it comes to uh, microphones that do not cost a lot of money. And I've never had anything less than quality come out of a Mayono box. They always do me right, man. The sound quality of their mics is superb and the budget is always right. Now, today we're looking at this one. This is your standard podcast mic, okay? But there's something special about this one. This one has a dual interface. Check that out right there. You got your XLR output plus a USB-C, and they also give you a uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, monitoring port right there. That's what makes this one special. I have not seen too many mics that have a USB input, so you can use this as a USB mic, which I'm gonna demonstrate in a moment. But if you also have some more high-end or more technical equipment, you can just plug in your, your XLR cable, which they actually supply right here so there's your xlr female and male connector right there i will not be using this today because i don't even have an interface that requires one of these but i do have a pc and i'm gonna use this usb c connection but before we do that i know some of y'all like for me to break it down barney style and show you how to put these things together so these are all the parts you're gonna get okay you got your usb cable usb c you got your xlr you got your microphone stand which is a metal stand this is like some kind of uh, maybe a composite aluminum or something like that it's it's got a it's got a nice little weight to it and it's it does retract and come out just like that or extend and retract has a little tightening knob right there, which seems very secure. Then we have a pop filter because when you talk, a lot of y'all be spitting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a lot of y'all can't control the particulates that come out of your mouth. So you got to put this over the microphone. That way, all the plosives don't, you know, rattle the, the diaphragm on the microphone and stuff and just get the mic all disgusting. So you need a pop filter. But they also give you this right here, man. This is, um, man, I forgot what this is called. <laughs> What is this thing called, man? Wilson, you remember what this thing is called? I, I forgot. A shock mount. Yes, a shock mount. Man, I had a brain fart for a moment there. They give you a shock mount. Shock mounts are kind of, they usually come at a premium, man. They're usually a separate product. I love the fact that they actually give you one with the microphone setup because if you just hook your microphone up to this and somehow mount it to a stand, every time you bump the table, you're going to hear boom, 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 because the microphones are sensitive, man, and they get all the vibrations and it just follows up through the diaphragm there. This shock mount got these rubber bands here, which actually suspend the microphone. So let me just slide that in there right now. Let me just slide it in there just so you can see. Break it down Barney style for you, just in case you're the uh, guy or girl who are just getting started, you know, with maybe a podcast or just even stream it on the internet or something like that. Uh, you just kind of need to see this stuff done in real time. So I got my shock mount, or I got the microphone mounted into the shock mount, okay? Now, we, do, you know, let me take this out real quick. So we do have an on off switch and I have to tell you something about this microphone. So when you're monitoring your, your audio, meaning you're listening to your own voice, you can use this plus or minus to kind of, you know, turn it down a little bit if it's too loud for you. It doesn't mess with the gain of the microphone. The microphone volume will always remain the same. This is for you hearing the audio through this uh, monitoring port right here, that 3.5 millimeter. Now, since I'm on this side right here, this on off switch only matters when you're using USB-C mode. When you're using USB-C mode, there's a little light that comes on right there where you turn it on and bam, you're working. Like everything is live and in action. But when you use the XLR input right there or output, whatever you want to call it, when you're using the XLR, this does not matter. On or off does not matter. Okay. I just wanted to straighten that out for you. It's actually on their website. If you want to go take a look at it, you cannot, it, the on off switch doesn't matter. Oh, also, uh, the, the headphone monitoring does not work when you're using XLR mode. So note that if that was something you were looking for. Once again, the headphone port does not work while you're using XLR mode. The headphone port as well as the on off switch only work when you're using the USB-C mode. Now, 
let's put this thing together. First of all, you unscrew that tightening knob right there. Just get it to a reasonable length right there. Then uh, let's go ahead and screw this on. Screw on this uh, shock mount. Should be easy to do. Now don't over tighten this because the while the stand is metal, the shock mount is plastic and you will destroy it if you over tighten that bad boy. Now we got this right here, this little, um, this little uh, brass screw right here. This actually has a hole in it because what you're gonna do is slide your, see this little rod right here? You're gonna slide the, the long end of the rod into all three of those holes. You got one, two, three holes, and that keeps everything on track. And then just tighten it just a little bit, not too much, because we still have to manipulate it once we get it, uh, once we get the mic set up in there. Now it's time to put on the pop, pop, pop pop filter. So the pop filter has this threaded hole right here and you want the pop filter to hang down towards the microphone. So let's go ahead and put that on there and we will thread it in just like such. Now it's not going to reach all the way to the end of the thread because as you can see the thread or the threaded end has a has a nut on the end of it. So that's how you do your final adjustment. So right now it's kind of loose and we will go ahead and slide in that microphone one more time through those rubber bands. And these rubber bands are replaceable. I don't know if uh, Mignono sells anymore, but you can probably get these anywhere a dime or dozen. I don't even know why you would be breaking them. I mean, it ain't like you gotta shove it in that hard. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all stop that mess, man. All right, you see right there, I got the pop filter. It's kind of loose. And I want to bring this out a little bit more. So let's loosen up this brass knob right there. Bring it out just a little bit. Let's bring it out to about right there. Then we will tighten it out. Now we got plenty of space between the actual end of the microphone and the pop filter. And now I will tighten everything up. Let's get one more rotation. Oh man, it's hard doing this on camera. Hold on. See, I'm trying to do this for y'all and break down Barney style, but y'all don't understand my struggles here. So let's tighten this nut up. That way it will be secure and won't be spinning around as I'm talking to y'all when I do my podcast. Okay, now, don't that look professional? That looks good, man. Let's get this thing plugged up. I'm only gonna use the USB-C method on my PC and uh, we're gonna see how this thing actually sounds. So let's go. All right, man, let's do this. Is this thing on? Okay, I can hear myself in the in the, in the the headphone. Oh, yeah. You gotta have some type of recording interface, right? So I've got this plugged in via USB on my PC here, but you do have to have like a recording app or a, um, a program. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up, uh, this is the default voice recorder that comes with Windows 10. You can go in the Windows store, download voice recorder. That's what it says here, voice recorder. And I am going to record the audio. Let me see, make sure. Tap, tap. Yeah, it looks like it's recording. All right, oh man, I feel real, I feel real professional right now. Yeah, man. Hey, this sounds pretty good, man. Let me, let me hit this gain real quick. Hold up. All right, so yeah, this is toggling the volume on my PC and my headphones are being turned up. So it has nothing to do with the audio as far as what, what you're being fed into the mic. You're gonna have to go into your PC mic settings to adjust that. Or if you're running a program, like if you're doing a stream or something like that, whatever stream you, you can control your uh, mic gain through that. But hey man, so far what I'm hearing through these headphones right now, this is a damn good mic. And it looks good and feels like quality, man. This is what's up with Mayono. Hey, man, I am no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I can tell you is that Mayono makes some damn good audio products. <laughs> hey, man, how does my voice sound, man? Seriously, like, I sound like a radio host right now. I got that, that, that bass in this, and you're listening to KACY. <laughs> All right, man, y'all get out of here. I'll see y'all when I see you. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Man, it'd be the ones closest to you. I'll see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?